I'm back making videos again. Nathan or nothing. Uh, today we're gonna sample uh, two kinds of beers here. Uh, I'll start with the uh, Irish Red Ale. It's a uh, Irish Red War Beer is what they call it. Um, they make it in El Dorado, Kansas, which is where we're from. So that's pretty cool. Everybody likes a beer from where they're from. Um, I believe um, Chase Bloss told me this was out of uh, Renaissance. They use it Renaissance. Is that correct, Chase? Yeah, he's over there laying down. He says that's correct. They do use this a lot in the Renaissance. Uh, it's got a cool name. I'm going to give its name a 10 out of 10 just because, come on, who doesn't like a name like Warbeard? Yeah, Warbeard. I mean, that's got to be the most fabulous name I've ever heard of. It gets a good head when you pour it out into a glass. If you can do it right. I like me a thick head. Just like that. Nice pour. Yeah, I got a good head on mine. Yeah, it always does. It's a great beer. It's good beards. It's great in the glass rather than the can. Yeah, better better out of the glass, I would say. It's very bold, but not bitter. Yeah. It was a you, very good beer. Reminds me of walnuts. I don't know why. Yeah. It reminds me kind of like walnuts, like, like a nutty beer. And this beer is somewhat of an acquired taste, you know. Uh, few people I've had try it, they try it and it's kind of bold to them in the beginning, but then after a few drinks it, it grows on you. That's it. It's a grower. Yeah. It's dark. It's a red ale, if I got too much in that. I just, I love me a red ale. It's one of my favorites. It's not too pricey either. Really not. Oh, uh, I don't know. I could, I could disagree. I wish it was a little cheaper than it was. Yeah, Bam. but for such a good beer. For such a good beer, it's not bad. Yeah. You know, you're looking at it spending anywhere between 8 and $11, depending on where you're going to pick it up at. For a six-pack. For, for a six-pack. So, you know, depending on what you're wanting to spend, it could be pricey. It's not like Bud Light cheap, you know. Yeah, it's so. not a cheap beer. You just buy 300 up. This is just to sit at home and relax and <laughs> I'm sip not, a good beer. Yeah. I'm not generally sure if they make a 30-pack, but I could be wrong, you know. I would like to go and visit their uh, distillery, is that what it's called? Yeah. I'd like to go visit the distillery. We're going to do that sometime. I'll make a video of that, and it'll be pretty great. I like it. You know, If you had to rate this for beers between 1 and 10, what would you rate it? This is a beer entrepreneur here. So. Well, this, this isn't a party beer. This is a sitting at home in the afternoon or in the evenings and have a nice drink. I would say it rates about a 7. Yeah. I'd give it a That's good, good seven. Rating. So looks like we're rating it right out of the seven today. It's real good. I like it. Don't make it don't mistake a seven for bad. I mean. No. It's hard to push a ten out of us. So. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely hard. My friend Chase Blas was at the Renaissance and he paid six dollars for one cup of this in the Renaissance. He said, if any beer he was going to pay for it for $6. It was going to be the one that was labeled Warbeard. And I have to give him that one. Yeah. We got Scandinavian Viking in my family. If you can't tell by the, my massive father over here, then I don't know what to tell you. Alright. We're moving on to Harp. It's a... Premium imported lager, and light. boy do I like a lager. A light yeah. lager. Yeah, very light lager. I don't think it says it on the bottle that it's no. a light lager. But it's not like one of those dark lagers. But it's a good beer. Um, if I forgot to say, I forgot to say with the Warbeard. Warbeard is sitting at a, what was it? It's 5.5. .5 percent uh, alcohol volume as to where with the harp we're sitting at a 
four point five alcohol not volume. Quite so as much. Not quite as much. We're not we're not as heavy with the with the harp. So if we're gonna rate them through potency, I'd say I give uh, I give Warbeard a damn good potency because I I can drink a lot of beers, but Warbeard man, I get tipsy quick on some Warbeard because uh, I'll drink a thirty pack and just sweat tipsy with with a lower beer, like a three point, but definitely Warbeard's Warbeard's got it high up in there when it comes to getting drunk. If you want to get drunk quick or tipsy quick, get you there. Oh, slipped off. Woo! Okay. There you go. That one's a lot of a lot of head on a harp. Harp's got a good head. Right there. See, watch that. Harp's got a damn good head. See right through it. Yeah. Got good bubbles. You get pretty good bubbles with it, so uh, I like it. Just like the Warbeard, it just bubbles and bubbles and it'll never stop. You sit here for an hour and you're gonna see bubbles coming up off the bottom. And that, that's to me fresh. to me that's a strong fresh beer. Real light beer. Real light. No aftertaste, no bitterness. Oh, it goes down easy. Real smooth. It's real smooth. I don't know, I'd say... I mean, it hardly... To me, I mean, I drink a lot of beer, though, as well as my father here, but... To me, there's a... Not much of even a beer taste to harp. No, it's its own taste. A harp's got its own taste. Uh, I've never quite tasted a beer like harp. Uh, made by Guinness. Made by Guinness. It's it's amazing, and it's imported from where? I believe Ireland. Don't know for sure. Yeah, Ireland. Product of Ireland. Uh, That's what I thought. It's it's authentic pill. What's it say? Pilsner Lager. Pilsner Lager. Brewed with pride, and I'll tell you what. They aren't lying when they say brooded pride. There's some That's pride right. behind this log. That's right. You know, it's good. Definitely give it give it a good rating probably. Let's see. But we've got my dad here for the good old uh rating numbers, seems how he's he's the old chap. He's the one that's got the Expertise of beer drinking. I've been drinking beer for a minute now, but I'm only sitting at 21, so it depends on what you're looking at. So. Though, it, when you rate a beer, it depends on what you're drinking it for. Yeah, exactly. If you're just if you're just out to have a big party and put down beers, that's a whole different story. Yeah. If well, you want to sit at home and take it easy for the evening and you know sit down and drink a few beers and have a few suds, it's it's a good beer to have. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, at a party, basically what we're saying there is, like, at a party, we're going to just grab some three-point gas station you know, or, yeah. you know, liquor store, whatever is cheap, you know, throw it to the party. But you want to sit down with, you want to sit down with some good friends, you want to have a good day, good afternoon. The That's two right. beers we're having today would be definitely some good That's beers right. to sit down and have a good afternoon with the Even at friends. the same time. Even, even at the same time. Exactly. Uh it's just going to be an all-around good choice. I mean, even even at a party, it'd be a good choice if you had the money to spend to throw harp and more beer at everyone's way. But, you know, not everybody is, is uh, what would you say, as blessed as the rest with That's right. having having that cash to be able to fund. So, yeah. you know, give or take. I mean, yeah, if you're in there making big bucks, why not buy everybody harp? But if you're like us, you know, you're just that... You that middle class, you just that guy scraping the top, you just you just want to get this for yourself, not everybody. Uh, what would you say you'd rate it? It's a hard one, huh? It's pretty good. It's pretty good with no aftertaste. Mm. 
I'd have to say 7.5. 7.5? I'd say 7.5 is a nice justifiable rating. And I mean, if you yet just... it's not as strong as the Warbeard, but yet it's very smooth. Yeah. I'd say if you want a very strong beer, if you're, if you're more of a strong guy, you're going to lean towards Warbeard. I drink yeah. Warbeard more in heart myself. Because I, I just like a strong beer. I like it to be more bitter. Uh, I like a little more manly kick behind it, if you will. Uh, as my friend Chase Flaws, or Chris Vale, um, he goes by a lot of names. Uh, I'm going to link his YouTube in here, uh, so y'all can go check him out. He's pretty good. He does some funny videos. I'm in them as well. Uh, but yeah, I'd say 7.5 is justifiable for this. I love this beer. It's a great beer. It goes down smooth, no aftertaste. If I was just to be drinking beer and wasn't looking for me a nice dark beer, it would be my, my go-to. Yeah, it um, would be. I'm interested in trying their darker lager. Uh, we'll pull that up. Probably next video, I'll probably be pulling up a darker lager from Guinness. And we'll see how, we'll see how that goes with me. Uh, but 7.5 is a justifiable rating. We can, we can walk on with yeah. that one. That's a good beer, huh? My dad just loves heart. He loves heart. That is good. Very good. Mm. Yes, yeah, especially when you're trying to like impress your girlfriend or something, you know. Yeah. Harp is really easy on the palate. It kind of goes with all the foods. Yeah. Whatever you're eating, it'll go with. It doesn't kind of contradict the foods you're eating. Definitely. I can see that. So it'd be a real good safety. If you're going to sit down with your girlfriend, you know, on the couch and have a sip of beer, I think that'd be the way to go. Yeah. Well, so now you guys have seen my big Scandinavian father, and uh, we went through two beers. Uh, next time we'll go ahead and go with a darker Guinness and another surprise beer. Yep. We'll decide what we want to go with, so enjoy yourself. Uh, get tipsy, but be safe. Drive responsibly. Buckle up. Buckle up. No drunk driving, and you guys no. have a good one, All right? Nathan or nothing, I'll get at you next video. You'll have a good. <laughs> <laughs> so here's Chris Vale, <laughs> the wrestler, the big guy, weighing at 200 pounds. Chase Flaws on YouTube. All right, so this is the guy that showed me Warbeard for that first video. And like I said, it's made out of El Dorado, Kansas. We're from Kansas. El Dorado. El Dorado. El Dorado. How the fuck you say it? Um, and. So he's going to show us how to properly pour a nice head on our beer out, straight out of the can. Just so you guys can get a good drink on. We want you guys to drink safe and we want you to drink responsibly. We want you, we want you to drink good. We want your taste to be to the top par. So here we go. See how he just gets it right off the end of the glass. Then he starts to level the glass out. And we're looking at... He's like a thick head, though. A thick head. Wow. Now he, now yes, it is supposed to be about an about an inch for a head, but he knows how I like mine, and I like my beer a good two inches, to an inch and a I half. Two. That's that's the answer better. You know, if it's not better than an inch, it's not my favorite. That's right. Uh, you gotta have a good head on a, on a beer. And my dad's the same way. Yeah, so. you gotta have a good head on a beer. Uh, a little bit left in the can. A little bit left in the can. See, like, every time I pour a can, the can's empty. He'll pour such a good head, there'll still be some left in the can. So, there's a lesson by the master pourer himself. Takes his bow. Y'all have a good one.